Hello, Highland. Coming in code three with a 57-year-old male. ALOC, he signed his tack on the monitor. Be there in about five minutes. sepsis every day starting at the triage in the ambulance bay who's that well, at the er door a nursing home patient with pneumonia and a bed sore blood pressure's low his temperature's high we've got you six hours or he might die the sepsis bundle that's the way to get those bugs to go away get the culture and labs start the iv and don't forget to check for the p are up and fluids too. Let's send him off to the ICU. The ICU team puts in the central line. The lack take him back and it's nine. Just got the IC alert from his last state. He's got a history of MRSC. The hemoglobin 7 CVO2 is 52. We better figure out just what to do. We'll give him some blood and more IVs. And let's not forget the oxygen. Please? Check the CVO2 and it's 53. Looks like it's time for some dobutamine. The CVP is up, it's now 10. The blood pressure's back to normal again. The map is greater than 65. It looks like he just might survive. But meanwhile, up on 7 West, a gunshot victim is doing her best. Her heart rate is up and her blood pressure's down. Her wound drainage is looking kind of brown. The nurse gives a rapid response to call, and together they'll work to review it all. like sepsis is at the gate. The patient goes to the ICU where the CVP turns out to be two. With fluids and blood, the CVP is nine, but the MAP remains just 55. Time for some prep just like we were fed. A better hurry up or she just sepsis, might be sepsis. dead. Her map is now 65 like eight down just to two. It looks like we did what we had to do. We've got you six hours, that is all. When sepsis looks like that, it's the call. Remember cultures, labs, and the IVs, antibiotics, and the central line. Please keep the MAP above 65. Use fluids and blood pressures to keep them alive. We're all a team, so let's do things right, and we'll save some more lives both day and night. Objections to calling the code. Time of death, 601.